Well, good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowan here with Yorksville First, Pleasant Grove, and Tippecanoe United Methodist Church. And I have a devotional today to share with you out of the book of Mark. And it's Mark 4, verse 37. And I know the forecast today kind of predicts a really bad snowstorm today and tomorrow. And so I figured I'd share a verse with you out of the Gospel of Mark just to remind you who is ultimately in control of the weather, of the snow, of the seasons. Who is the one who is in command of them all? And it says in verse 37 of Mark 4, And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. So the disciples were terrified. They were in a ship, and a, a great storm arose, much like if you know, maybe you're out traveling tomorrow. You might be terrified because of the ice and, and the the bad weather. And so it says, And Jesus was in the inner part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awoke him and said unto him, Master, don't you care that we are about to die? And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? And so if things get really bad tomorrow, and I pray they don't because God is the one who's in control, but if things get really bad, just remember that we serve the God who calmed the wind. We serve the God who commands the waves. And Jesus said to the disciples, Why are you so afraid? You know, Jesus knew the storm was coming. Jesus knew the storm was there, and he was asleep on the on a pillow. There is no need for us to fear, for we have Jesus. And so the greatest way to dispel our fear is with faith. And so maybe if you're caught in it tomorrow, and I pray that you can hunker down. I pray you don't have to drive anywhere. But if you are driving tomorrow, I pray that you get to where you're going safely. And I pray that you have faith in Jesus, that you uh, have faith in the one who controls the wind and the waves. No matter what storm comes our way, we know the one who is in control. And so put all your faith and all your trust in him and rebuke fear just as Jesus rebuked the waves and the wind. Amen.